My lords, I um, rise in a very pleasing position for Green um, in a group of amendments addressing uh, climate, uh, biodiversity, social justice and indeed fair trade to say that almost everything has been said, just not by me, uh, which is a rather pleasing position to be in. I'm acutely aware of the hour, so I am going to be very brief um, and just seek to add a couple of additional points. I do just want to say that Amendment 49 uh, in the name of the noble lady Baroness Worthington and indeed also addressed by the noble lady Baroness Parmenter and with full cross-party support. I would have attached my name to that had there been space um, and that clearly is absolutely crucial. And I think we have to contrast this bill with the UK Infrastructure Bank bill with which I was recently in, in which half of which is entirely directed to something that's missing in this bill. And I was thinking of the tireless work of the other uh, noble Baroness Heyman, uh, the one who's not in the chamber today, um, who's worked so hard, and I can go back to my first ever time in this um, in the committee in this room uh, on the pensions bill when we were fighting to get a climate provision in the pensions bill back almost three years ago now. And then we thought, one day we're going to get to the stage where we won't have to fight to get these in every bill when it clearly should be there. And sadly, it's clear, despite the UK infrastructure bill, we're not yet there yet. Um, I think the points made by the noble Lord, Lord Hunt of King's Heath, about the uh, report, the most recent report from the Committee on Climate Change, are hugely powerful. We have targets, but we don't have policies. And how are we going to get the policies unless we have them written explicitly into bills like this? And I do just also, I would have signed it, had, had I not missed it, to commend the noble Lord's Amendment 48. Because I think there's an important word in there, which is cultural well-being, which is something which is far too often missed out. And I think the um, point made by the noble lady, Baroness Parmenter, about talking about culture in the broadest sense. Um, we need to give people a rich life, which may have less physical stuff in it, but is a far better quality of life. And I think that cultural point really starts to address to that. And that also addresses public health and indeed um, uh, consumption issues. Now, I'm aware of the time, so I'm going to be really restrained, and I hope I get some brownie points for that and sit down. <laughs> <laughs>